Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I wanted to share with you the books that we've read for March 2019. I have a lot of really good books to share. Um, I will say that we liked most of them, so that is good. Um, the first one I want to share, I read with my first grader. It is Pippi Longstocking. We really love this book. Um, it was really funny, and Pippi Longstocking is quite the character. Um, so we really, really like this book a lot, and we will be getting the other Pippi Longstocking books. I think there was two other ones that are chapter books, so we will be getting those to read as well. So stay tuned for my review of those. But we really love this book, and I highly recommend it. Very funny book. The next book that we read... I read this with my fourth grader. It is the third installment in the Percy Jackson series. Um, and this one, I think, was my favorite so far through the series. It had a lot of suspense to it. Um, there was a lot happening, and I just felt like it was the best one so far in the series. Um, so, yeah, I've said a lot about the Percy Jackson series, so I'm not going to bore you with a lot of details, but... As most of you know, we really, really are loving this series, and I highly, highly recommend this. Um, great books, and I think we're going to be reading a lot more by this author because he has quite a few series to read, so loving it. The next book that I read with my fourth grader as well was part of his history program. Um, I really, really loved this book. We are doing uh, Not Grass History, and it comes with a literature component. This is The Switherby Pilgrims. Um, this was probably up there with the Golden Goblet for me. We really, really liked this. Um, it's about orphans who move with their guardian to Australia and they kind of start a farm and it's just a really good book. And it actually has some suspense tied in there too in the last few chapters. So that made it kind of like a mystery type thing. And we just really, really enjoyed this. Um, so highly recommend it for your older elementary or middle school students. Great book. The next book that we read for history was Madeline Takes Command. I did not like this one as much as I liked the Swithery Pilgrims, but nonetheless, I did still enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure if my son enjoyed it so much, but I know that he really liked the Swithery Pilgrims. He said that he likes books where... They kind of have to start their own thing, kind of like the Swiss Family Robinson and those type of books. So, um, or build their own home, basically, that he likes those kinds of books. But this one was okay. Um, it did have a lot of exciting moments in it, so I liked that part of it. I really like, like, a good mystery type of book, so I kind of felt like that had some of those elements, that this had some of those elements in it. Um, but there were some, some pretty boring times through the book and the chapters were pretty long. So it was kind of one of those ones that was harder for us to get through, but I would recommend it for like the upper elementary grades and middle school grades. Um, it does talk about it. It is set in Canada. Um, and it is based on a true story. So definitely a good book if you're studying Canada, his Canadian history or, um, you know, just that time period in general. So and now I want to move on to the books that we just started, the books that will take us into April and that I will be reviewing um, when I do my April 2019 read alouds. So the first book is the book I'm reading with my first grader. Uh, we just started this. It is The Mouse and the Motorcycle by Beverly Cleary. And so far it's pretty good. Um, we're only a couple chapters in, but we are liking it so far. Uh, I won't say we're liking it as much as we liked Pippi, but that book was just really funny and had a lot of entertainment in it. And obviously not every book is going to be like that, but that doesn't mean that it's not a good book. So I think that we will end up really liking this. Um, so we'll see. I'll definitely give you guys a better review in April for my April read alouds. The next book is the fourth installment in the Percy Jackson series. I am reading this with my fourth grader. And so far, it's pretty good. Um, we're not too far into it, so I can't really say. But like I said, I did like the third, the third book in the series the most so far. So we'll see if this one tops that. And the last book I want to show you is the book for history that we just started um, after the Slytherby Pilgrims. And this is The Chestry Oak. Um, it's, it's okay so far. It's a little bit of a harder read for me. Um, I don't know. It's... 
it's kind of like the the main character is like a six year old, so it's kind of in like his he's telling the story. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it is about World War II, and apparently this boy, I don't know if like his whole family dies or what. They're they're in Hungary and um, Nazi Germany invades and. I don't know exactly what happens. Like I said, we're just into it, but apparently he moves to the United States with a new family. And so I am interested to see how it goes because I think that it might be a good book. We'll just have to see. Um, but I do, I am fascinated by like the world wars and stuff like that. I do like studying that time period. So hopefully this will be a good book for us. Um, but so far, I don't know. We are enjoying it somewhat. We're about two chapters in. So that is all my books to show you guys today. I know I've rambled through this video. I'm a little bit distracted today, so I'm sorry for that. But those are the books, and I hope this gave you some good suggestions for your family. Um, and yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.